Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, and tonight we've got a very interesting puzzle from um, Richard Stoke's puzzle series. A little bit of a story behind that. I'll come to that in a moment. Um, so do check out our Patreon site. Um, lots of stuff going on. We'll soon be putting up a video of the monthly content. Um, do also subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we do like it when you do that and we're closing in on 250,000 so it'd be great to get there um, thank you very much for watching anyway generally um, even if you don't follow us on patreon even if you don't subscribe and even if you don't buy our apps and miracle sudoku is proving exactly as popular as we expected so back to this puzzle this we originally got sent a puzzle by Philip Bloom, who we've uh, featured before on the channel, who'd created an um, idea called XY Differences, where the rule set, as well as normal Sudoku rules, for every row and column, you look at the first number in the row or column. So the first number in this column would be in this top cell. And if that number is the difference between any two uh, neighboring cells in the column, then an inequality symbol is provided. So in that column, there would be none of them. But in this column, say this column started with a three, there'd be a difference of three between those two cells and a difference of three between those two cells, but not between any of the other pairs of cells in the column. Um, the same applies to rows, and that's the rule set. It's a new idea called XY Differences, and fairly simple. Now, Philip sent us a puzzle, but our testers didn't feel that we could really do that without bifurcation at a fairly early stage, so we haven't featured the puzzle on the channel. But Richard Stolk has taken the idea on and credited Philip with the rule set, but created his own puzzle for his own um, Sudoku variant series, um, uh, which is a great series, by the way. Do look it up. But he sent us this puzzle and recommended it, and we're going to give it a try. So thanks to both Philip and Richard for their hands in this, but especially Richard for creating this puzzle. Do try it on the link below the video. Um, I'm going to give it a go now. So let's get cracking. Um, where do we start? Well, it's worth noting that wherever the nine is in the first row and column, there can be no inequality symbols in the row or column it begins. So that could have a nine at the beginning and that, oh, or so could rows three and four. Oh, and row one. Okay, it's not very helpful in the rows. In the columns, actually there's only two. Those two don't have inequality symbols in, so could begin with a nine. Um, in the uh, maybe that is not the way to start at all so let's try again maybe in this column which has three inequality symbols in no i know maybe in this column which has two linked ones yeah that can't begin with anything higher than four if it was a four this would have to be a set of one five nine there are three possibilities if it was a three and a few more if it was two or one. Uh, it's not quite breaking us into this. Oh, I know. Look, these two. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. OK, now, why am I putting one, two and four there, two, four and eight there? Because whatever is in this cell must be doubled in this cell. That has to be right because... This is not only the number in its cell, it's also the difference between that cell and this one. So, yeah, and we can't have three and six. So the, the various possibilities are one, two, two, four, and four, eight. And in fact, of course, they share digits. So this is a, a, a quadruple with one, two, four, and eight in, and none of them have a two at the top and a four at the bottom. One of them is one two and the other is four eight um okay that's good now yeah let's have a look at this row which now can't have a two or eight anywhere except in those two cells so this could be 
Well, yes, it starts with this double thing again, exactly. So it can't be 1, 2, because the 2 is there. It can't be 2, 4, or 4, 8, because there's 2 and 8 there. So this must begin with 3, 6, I think. That's so neat. Um, so it's a difference of 3 in this row. So what's this at the end? 3, 6, 2, 8, 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 must include a 4 and either 1 or 7 to go with it. Um, right, that's interesting. Now we've got one other pair here. And yes, this can't be... It now can't be 3, 6. It can't be 1, 2 or 2, 4 because of that 2. So this has to be 4, 8. So it's very useful to have this these inequality symbols in the column and row beginnings. Um, now that said, where does that put us? Four, eight, six. Oh, well look at this cell. This is interesting, I think. This cannot be one or four because they're in that row. It can't be two, which is in the column, or three and six. It has to be a big number, five, seven, eight, or nine. But look, there's two inequality symbols. So that's going to rule out both 9 and 8. 9 can't ever have any, as we said. 8 would have to have only 1, which was 1, 9. So this could be 5 or 7. In fact, 7's two possibilities are 1, 8, which would be possible down here, and 2, 9, which wouldn't there. So that's a 5. We can actually deduce that. So the difference between these two is 5... That's got to be 1, 6. Because 2, 7, 3, 8 and 4, 9 are all ruled out by these ones. Uh, down here, 3, 8 or 4, 9. We don't know which one. Not to worry. That's quite good progress. Now, 2, 1, 6, 8, 4 already gone here. One of these two is a 3. Um... Let's have a look at this cell now. This also can't be 1, 4, 5, 3 or 6 or 8. So it's 2, 7 or 9. It obviously can't be a 9. And in fact, that being a 6 means it can't be a 7. So it is a 2. This is 4 or 8. It's obviously 4 because we've got an 8 here. Um, 4 and 3 are both in this triple, but that doesn't actually help resolve that. Ah, oh, 1 can't be there or there. And in fact, it can't be here because it would need... Well, because there's a 1 there. Okay, that's the simple way. But anyway, 1 is here. I was actually spotting that 1 and 2 there would need a symbol between them. Right, so this one up here is 7 or 8. Can't be 9 because there is a gap here. Can't be 7 because that would need 8 here in the same box with another 8. So that's 8... That's 9. 8, 2, 5, 1, 4. This is now 3. That's all it can be. This is 6 or 7. And it's got... Some, oh, well, hang on. 7 and 9 here. Yes, this one cannot be a 9 because the difference between those two would be 3. So that's 7. That takes 7 out of this pair, which definitely is a 1, 4 pair. So we have... Five and nine left there. Ah, okay. Seven, no, that doesn't tell us. Oh, hang on, this can't be one, two, three, because we'd need two symbols. Brilliant, that's four, eight, three. So this is one, two. And that means this can't be a five because of the three difference in the row. That's so neat. Doesn't sort out this 1, 4 pair yet, but never mind about that. Now, this is 6 or 7. Can't be 9. We can place the 9 in the row. 4, 1, 8, 2, 3, 9. So these are from 5, 6, and 7. This row column, sorry, is interesting because apart from the two symboled places, it's non-consecutive. Ah, maybe the 4 column is even more interesting. Column 4, beginning with a 4. These two have to be um, 
four differences. So one of them is two, six. The other one involves a five. Uh, then neither of them has a seven. Now, I don't know. What about this cell though? Eight, three, one, nine, four, two, six. So this is five or seven. And the difference applies here. Uh, it could be one, six either way round. If this is a seven, Ah, oh, it can't be a seven. That would need one eight. So that's a five, and this is a one six pair. Ah, oh, does that? Yes, one of these two pairs has to be two six. Now I don't know which one it is, but whichever one it is is stopping that being a six. So that sorted all those out. Now this set is a. They're three and seven. Mm, they're not resolved by anything I've got. I don't think. We've got one five nine as a triple there, so this is now not nine four. It's three eight. Let's get rid of the corner markings. That makes this a four, and we've got another triple here two six seven. Wow, this is an intriguing puzzle. Now, right, one of these is two six. The other one is five nine. They don't contain a seven. So the seven is down there. That's not a seven. Um, so this is either six or five with a two or nine there. Down here, I don't know which way round they go at all. Fours across here, no. This is a row that can't have consecutive digits. Aha, so there can't be a six in one of these cells. That's beautiful. That has to be a five, seven pair from a five, six, seven triple to stop there being consecutive digits in that pair. They have to be five and seven. Right, so this is two, six, eight. Oh, can't resolve those with the non-consecutive rule. Ooh, nearly. Can't quite resolve those. I could nearly re if this if I knew whether this was five or seven, I could rule one or two out of that. Oh, but look, seven now in this column. So two nine is theoretically possible, but that nine kills it, so it must be eight one. Now that can't be seven. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, this is so clever. Seven five eight one. That's not very helpful for this column. Ah, but the three here. Yes, this can't be three, six, nine now. It's got to be a sequence stepping in threes. It can't be three, six, nine because three's gone. It also can't be one, four, seven because of this cell having a one or four. So it must be two, five, eight with the five in the middle. And that fixes this pair. Three, six, two, five, eight, one, four. This is seven or nine. This is four or seven. I just want to check. Yeah, it is by regular Sudoku. Given this two, five, eight triple here. Um, ah, this can't be a seven. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Yes, this can't be a seven either because that would put a four here and it would need a symbol because of the three. So that is nine. Seven, I was gonna say seven has to be here, but actually this can still be a seven, so calm down. Easy tiger. Yeah, no, that's right. That's a one or a four now. Nine, two, five, eight, three, six, seven. Yes, so seven is here. Okay, so I was right. My instinct was correct. Um, now, what does that do? This nine's not a lot of use. Ah, oh, yes, that nine has sorted out this one. Lovely. Keeps just feeding into each other. So that's not two or six. And in fact, this can't be five because that's a one and it would need a symbol. So that resolves that pair. Oh, well, much more simply, there's a five there. Sorry. Bad scanning as usual. That triple's resolved. Um... Right, nine to three or eight here. Well, not to eight. Nine to three gives us six at the start. That does the whole first triple. Ooh, rather surprisingly here, we can't have any two differences at all. Um, 
I might just note what all the possibilities are actually. Uh, three, four, six, nine there. One, three, four. Oh, I don't think this is as helpful as I thought it might be. One, four, three, six. No, that's not telling me much. Okay, but at least we've got them noted. Now we've got one more inequality symbol untouched, um, but they're only different by one. This one is four, five, or eight. Actually, it's not eight because that would be one away from that seven. So this is five or three. Everything else is impossible just by ordinary Sudoku, given the row, column, and box. So if that's three or five, this has to be four. Two, seven, four. I don't know whether it's three or five though, but this isn't four now. Um, oh, nine, nine there and nine there. This must be nine. So that's not nine. In fact, it could never have been nine. One, two, seven, four, nine. This is an eight, that's a naked single. This is three or six. And I can't use that clue to disambiguate, but it gives me a three, six pair. So this is five, okay. Six, two, one, four, five, nine, eight, seven, three can all be placed. I actually think I'm suddenly finishing this puzzle now. Three and six here and here. Yes, the four different sorts that out. Seven there. This can't be three. Brilliant. Six, nine, three, two, eight, and four. That is two or four. This is four or eight. Uh, I can't see how to sort that out yet. This is a naked two. This can't be three because of the pair. So that's one or four. Six, three, nine, five, eight. That eight has sorted out the two, five, eight triple. That does the whole of that tr triple as well. One, four up there. Yes, seven, eight, six must be in that order. This is now a one to finish the column. Three, four, nine. They're all done by regular Sudoku. And we are finished. That is an absolute genius puzzle. I mean, I love the way that that works together. Um, and that really came together nicely. Everything in it fed back to itself and I mean all of those little doubles to start the column. Well done if you spotted those quickly because that was really the, the break in I think was spotting how they work together. So thanks very much for playing along with me. I hope you did well on your own if you had a go on your own and uh, hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.